But I went out knowing what I would find in principle. I knew all these people were in danger. I knew there were a lot of them were living rough. I knew a lot of them were being looked after temporarily by friends and relatives. I knew that some of them were living in camps. So it didn't really come as a surprise to me. What surprised was me was the number of societies that already existed to try and help these people. Because it's clear you were not the only British person helping them. You had uh, colleagues, there was a team of people who wanted to offer help, but your particular commitment and your idea was to get children, particularly children, away from Czechoslovakia, away from the Nazi threat, and to get them to London. But it was extraordinarily difficult to achieve that, wasn't it? Well, it's been made more difficult than it has really was. I mean, having isolated the problem into the simple way that you've put it, how can one get an unaccompanied child into England? What do you do? You ask the people who prevented it happening, and the prevent people prevented it happening with the Home Office. Mm. And we went to the Home Office. My mother went to the Home Office and said, look, what are you going to do about it? And she was the one who actually got the conditions from the Home Office under which unaccompanied children could come into the country. The question remains, from the point of view of, of giving them a life in England, you had to find families who would agree to raise them, to foster them. And I just wonder how you did it. Well, this <clears throat> wasn't so difficult or mysterious as you and other people now tend to make it. After all, this was the time when the British government were trying to get all the British children out of the south of England into the north. The evacuees. Yeah. The evacuees. So it was merely a question of getting them established as part of the evacuee train. There were issues, though. I know uh, even in the midst of the, the fear that was being generated across Europe of the Nazi persecution, the anti-Semitism, there were rabbis who said to you, you can't put Jewish children in Christian homes. That's not right. I wonder if you paid any heed to them. Well, yes, I just confronted them and, and said in much politer terms, mind your own business. 